up YouTube, it's your boy Super and I'm back with another video. Now I'm right now on my way to the shop. I'm gonna go take my car over there and see what they say about my bumper. If they can fix it, cool. If they can't fix it, then it is what it is. I'll be looking to get something different. If they can't fix it, hey, that's the wrong foot, my son. Come on, touch feet. Let's go. You know, you know, you know what's up. You know where it's supposed to go. You know how it goes. But anyway. Yeah, right now, we about to shoot up here. Me and my little guy today. He playing hooky from school. Me, I just ain't got to work today. So, hey, when I pull the car out, I'm going to show you all the damage in the daylight. I wasn't able to do it when I was out the other night. So, y'all really didn't get to see it. So, I'm going to pull it out show you guys. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like one thing after another. And then I found out. True. So, now I got to try to find a screw for that. I mean, I know right now they'll be okay. All the rest of them look like they're all right. Boy, she humming, but it should be all right right there. So I'm gonna walk around to the front, show you all the damage. Man, my car is filthy. I was told that a lot of this stuff right here was brake dust, that's crazy. But I think that's hard from, this, from the road. Maybe I'll stop and get a watch, but I don't know, man, because it's been raining. It's gotta look crazy. So, another bird got me again. I don't know. It's like the bird keeps getting me in the same spot. I'm tired of these birds, man. I need to go ahead and go south. So, right here, fog light is gone, right? Don't know how I got knocked out, but it's out right now. Other side still in. That one like got a little bit of water in it. Y'all can see that. See? I'm tripping. Then, we go over here. It looked like this fender is bent a little bit. You can see it. And you look at this side. It looks normal. So, got that. And then you come around the side. Now, y'all comment and y'all tell me what y'all think actually happened right here. Ooh, Stay back. Right yeah. Did I actually hit the deer? Which we do got blood there and a little bit of hair. Did I actually hit the deer? Or did he kick my bumper and say, get up off me, punk? Or what really happened? I don't know. Like I say, it's a little blood there. So I'm thinking maybe the bumper just nicked his butt. He got a little bit of hair in there. Then it cracked up in there. You can see that's broke right here. But it is what it is, so. I'm gonna run down the shop, run down to the shop, see what they say. Oh, thank God my headlights or my headlight ain't break or get cracked. Now that shows you how minor it is. I mean, to me, it's, it's not minor because now it's like, okay, well, what the hell I'm gonna do? Because now I might have to get all this fixed and try to figure it out. So I'm gonna take it down there and see what they say. So they're gonna have to replace the whole thing. Yeah, Cause this bracket look like it's, yeah, it snapped right there. So they might have to replace Place all this fog light still in there though. I just gotta go. I gotta go in there and get it. Unless they had the chance to do it yet. Oh, and that's chip. So we are gonna see. Take it on down there. So turn the camera on when we get in the car. I'm back. What you talking about? What is he talking about? Huh? No. Nah. Tell me again. If I had holes in my phone? Yeah, on the two sides. Why? Because if, if there was a holder thing that can hold your phone that has blind on it and the other hold on your, your phone and you got that one, you the lines can hold your phone and you can hold your phone into the hole in your phone. Ah, got you. Look, he only four years old, guys, and it's, it's like having this eight-year-old in the back seat because he understands he understand so much, you know, more than your typical four-year-old. Not saying there's not other four-year-olds that's out here that's smart, but to this guy, this guy right here, my little guy in the back seat, I'm telling you, man, he done been here before, gone, came back again, gone, came back. Man, he, 
Smart for his age. Yeah, smart boy. <laughs> hey, he gonna be big though. But I ain't gonna keep talking about that right now. But like I say, uh, like I said in my last video, like I'm lucky to have this car still, you know, basically in one piece. You know, with the exception of the bumper being cracked up. You know, it could have been a lot worse. You know, and you, know, you can't never take these these cars for granted. You know, because we all know that they put out a ton of power. We know what they can do. And if you don't know how to handle them, you can find yourself in a lot of trouble, you know. That's why a lot of people always tell you to, you know, start off, you know, start off small, get you a little, get you an RT first, you know. And that's what a lot of people do, you know, because they want to get used to the power and before they, you know, jump up to the big dogs, you know. For me, you know, for my first car, this was my first Hemi, you know, my entire life, you know, this is my first Hemi. So, you know, I honestly feel that I'm ready to take that step, to take that step to the, you know, the big dog, you know, you know, but I would never get rid of this one. You know, I started with the eight, you know, and got used to the eight. And don't feel like that I, you know, got all the power that I want because I got used to this car. You know, I've never been the one that want to do donuts or drive fast. I always want to do a burnout. But as I got used to this car, I'm like, well, you know, I'm used to this car, so let's do it. You know, so a lot of stuff I started to do, you know. So we'll see. But I got I got way, way here on topic. You know, but you know, just be careful when you out here driving, you know, Midwest full of deer. You know, them deer or something else, and they jump out at you. You know, when you least suspect it. You'll be driving and we'll look up or whatever you look over, that's you know they're running into your car. It happens. And that's why we pay insurance. That's why we take care of the things we take care of. Just in case stuff like that happen. Yeah. It sucks because the way hold on hold on buddy. The way the way the insurance gets you, insurance companies get you, right? Like, alright, boom, you hear something, bam. They hit you. Bam. Cool. You be like, alright, you got insurance. But then before they do anything, I'm like, yeah, you gotta pay a deductible. So you got deductible, people's deductible can be from 500 to 1,000. And I might just be lowballing it. It could be a lot more, it could be a lot more expensive. I don't know everybody else's. I just know from what I had to go through, miles range from 500 to 1,000. You know, and I think that's really pretty ridiculous because, you know, you pay, bro, oh, what, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. What is, what is you doing? Come on, man. See what I'm talking about, man. People tripping. People is tripping. You know, granted, bumper already cracked, so I really don't care. But I don't get to look for a new bumper anyway, but tripping. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, you know, you pay all Oh my god, people call them, look at this. Damn, leave me alone. You no, know, anyway, you pay all that money for a deductible. You know, and you hit something, bam, you pay that. You know, you be like, I done paid all this damn money for insurance. Where all that damn money that I pay a month? Where that, where that shit go? You know, it's basically just bullshit, if you ask me. It is straight bullshit. But that's a different story in itself. And right now I gotta run to the store. So get my son something to drink. He's thirsty. And I'm definitely thirsty. So I'll turn this camera back on a little bit. All right, now we're up here, guys. We had, uh, what's the name of this place? I forgot the name of it, but. I think it's called Rimlinger's Auto Shop, Auto Body Shop. So we're gonna go in here and see what they say. If they can't do nothing with it, then I guess we're gonna have to go somewhere else and see how much it cost me just to get a new bumper and maybe a side fender and we'll see how it goes. I'll see you in a bit, let me see. Estimates, all right, all right. I'll let you have it, come here. Oh, so I think I gotta make an appointment before I can even come in. So, hopefully, you know, I'm filming. I'm gonna go visit. Hey, All right, so I gotta call these people, so I'll turn the camera back on a little bit. Okay, Are we coming in? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Are you here for to get an estimate done? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Most definitely. 
You want to stay on watch TV? Or you want to stay? Or you want to stand with me? Okay, come on. So yeah, guys, I'll turn the camera back on a little bit. You guys, we back in the car. I mean, my little guy. And man, I tell you, man, it's expensive, man. <laughs> this is expensive. You know, it's just another thing that's gonna hold me back. I got so much stuff planned that I can't do because it's like now it's another thing that I gotta, you know, gotta fork money up for. You know, that's unexpected. You know, <laughs> you know, you want to be in this game to where you want to do good fun stuff to your car, man. You gotta make sure you have a ton of money because you gotta you gotta plan for the what ifs, and this is having to be one of them what ifs. You know, and all I was doing was driving. You know, and you know, had a nice night with my wife, and and boom, you know, this happened. You know, unexpected. So, and I'm gonna show y'all everything that I'm out to get. So, so as y'all see, it says front bumper, bumper cover, six twelve, labor almost three hours, of course. You know, ask for clear coat because you know you're gonna, get, gonna need a clear coat because they're gonna paint it. Then you got cover support. It says fourteen dollars. Labor probably like five minutes. It says I guess five ten minutes. I don't know. Then you got the right fender because the fender is bent a little bit. It just says labor an hour. Then you got hazardous waste. I don't know why they add that, but most places have to add that. I guess I don't know what's hazardous about it, but okay. Then you got the flex additive, ten dollars. So that comes out to 641 for four hours labor and four and a half hours paint. Okay. Then the parts. Ooh, my arm is burning. Then the parts you got 626. Body labor, 60 an hour. That's 240 because it's gonna take four hours. Paint labor, four and a half hours, 60 an hour, that's 270. Paint supplies, four and a half hours, that's 40 an hour, that's 180. And then whatever miscellaneous is, that's 15 bucks. So now you got your, your subtotal at, of $1,331.10. Then, of course, the God doggone Minnesota sales tax, 7.3. Oh, my goodness. That's 60 bucks. Bam. So now you got a grand total of $1,391. Man, you know, back to what I was saying. See, now I have to sit here and be like, okay, do I want that to go through my insurance or do I want to just pay this out of pocket? You know, insurance, you're going to have to pay your deductible. Could it be five? Could it be a thousand? Could it be more than that? Who knows? I think my deductible is only, what, I think it's a thousand or maybe 500. I think it's 500. I don't remember. But whichever one it is, you still gotta pay that. So say this. So say, think about this. Okay, if it's five hundred, you win it. But at the same time, now your rates might rise because you had an accident. Stupid. It ain't the main. It ain't a, a heavy accident. It ain't like you went out here and hit somebody. A deer was in the road. Not your fault. The deer hit, hit your bumper. Bam. Cross your drive. Ain't nobody hurt. Out the way. But your rates go up. Why? Okay. You get that out the way. Or do I want to just pay that $1,300 and just call it a day and be like, oh, I'm just out of $1,300. So now all the other stuff that I, had, that I had, you know, in play going to have to be on the back burner until I save up money again to do what I want to do. So I guess I got a lot of thinking to do because now it's put me in a hole to try to figure out, figure out some things. Because, you know, in my mind, I'm like, shit, $5, you know, to deductible. Shit, they can pay for that shit. That's what you pay all that money for them, to them for. Or I could just say, oh, well, I just put myself in a hole and I have to save again for the other stuff that I'm trying to do with my car. So, I guess I got some thinking to do. 